Corey Mores is constantly exploring new directions. His work reflects all kinds of pop culture, adventure comics, Japanese murals, tattoos, alternate superheroes, cartoons, motorcycle choppers, and custom cars. He sees a fundamental connection. These people, they, they want to make their vehicles, their motorcycles, um, look different than everybody else's, and they want to express who they are as individuals, and uh, that resonates with me as far as the Northwest Coast art and culture. Um, we created these things because we wanted to express who we were. We wanted to be remembered. His work explores an alternate reality, a what-if reality. What would it look like if they included Northwest Coast art into custom culture? What if they integrated the crest designs into old school tattoo? How would uh, Japanese mural influence Northwest Coast artists? How would custom culture influence Northwest Coast artists? It's a challenge because I'm trying to create something that looks like it's always been there. He feels he's carrying on the pathfinding tradition of past artists. They documented what they were going through at that time. They created smallpox masks, for example. They created earthquake masks. They created sailor sculptures. This is what influenced them. And uh, I've had a lifelong uh, affinity with cars and motorcycles and tattoos. And that's, that's my popular culture. It's my influences. And, you know, it's, it's the only way that I can use this art form in a way that interests me, is, is by gravitating towards those type of things. There is one constant that keeps him grounded in tradition, form line. He still does traditional pieces, and he always respects the form line. Well, I don't think that you can even begin to explore those wider influences unless you have a very strong understanding of the form line. Form line is like an alphabet. He got it tattooed on his knuckles as a declaration. It was a, a declaration to myself that this is, this is what I'm committed to for the rest of my life. For Corey, this is a perfect time to blend Northwest Coast art with pop culture. The superheroes, the uh, cartoon characters, the mixture of Northwest Coast with old school tattoo, the mixture of Northwest Coast with Japanese mural type work. These are all strong ideas that I want to present to the world create a new discourse, a new ideology of, of what Northwest Coast is. Northwest Coast art fits very seamlessly with this kind of contemporary storytelling. There's a market reality in all of this. The market's not the same as it was. It reached a very specific demographic, uh, in particular the baby boomers, who are now in their retirement age now and they're downsizing. So that collector market has kind of run its course and the smart and intelligent thing to do is to explore where the next world of collectors are coming from.